One of the things that gets me super excited is that we build for engineers with the tools that they have available. So right now I've got Onshape in front of me and I want to export this part and let's see uh, what tools, right? The default is step file. And so let's export that. This is the exact kind of thinking that we use to build bucket robotics and the defect detection system. We accept step files, not STL, because that is what you have of your parts. So I think it's really important that we build to the level of tooling that is available. And just like that, look, we've already imported that component and now we are off to the races generating a defect data set, which I think is pretty rad. We've had customers ask us, hey, do you accept STL or I don't know how to get an STL of my part? And you don't have to, right? We upload the step file, right? Whether it's Onshape, SolidWorks, Katia, there's so many different types of CAD software tools that you use, but they all export to step. So that's why we built around that thinking in mind for designing the bucket system. Computer vision tooling shouldn't be built for computer vision engineers. Computer vision tooling should be built for people who actually care about the product. So when we're generating a data set of defects, let's build the way that you would use the tool.